Hi guys, since we didn't get to finish example 6, 7, 8 and 9 during class last time because we had so many homework questions, uh, I wanted to go and make a video for you here about how those work and um, ask you to do your homework and complete everything so that we can move on next class. We don't really have time to come back to do all of these examples next class. Hopefully the homework goes better uh, after this section. So, uh, let's talk about this. Example six is a little problem solving question. So we had spoken about intercept form previously in class. Intercept form looks like this, where basically P and Q are the x-intercepts of the uh, graph of the quadratic function, okay? Or the x-intercepts of the parabola. And so if we go here, uh, you look at the type of function they gave you, all right, and you need to recognize the form. Before we do that, let's just read uh, the prompt. It says the path of the place of a place football can be modeled by the function y equals negative 0.026x times x minus 46, where x is the horizontal distance, that would be this right here, uh, in yards, and y is the corresponding height in yards. All right. So, question A is how far is the football kicked? So in other words, what's this distance from here to here? Okay, so if you just look at the function that's given, I'm just going to write it down again. Uh, it's not that apparent what form this function is in, but the hint I gave you earlier here is that uh, it's in this form. And so I'll show you why it's in that form. You can rewrite it like this. x minus 0, x minus 46. And now it's kind of easy to see that what's going on here is a times x minus p, x minus q. So now you can see, wait, there's just a 0 after the x. So take nothing away from x, you still have x. Okay, so really what we have here is called intercept form. So that tells us this, that this is an intercept and this is an intercept, okay? And so my two x-intercepts are x equals 0, well that would be right here, x equals 0, and x equals 46, well that would be right here. And since they said here, x is the horizontal distance in yards, it means this distance right here is 46 yards, okay? This is a great application for uh, parabolas to model projectile motion, okay? So this is an example of projectile motion. Please remember, you will need to explain applications of what we learn. Why, why are we learning this stuff? Because they solve real world problems. And then letter B, what's the football's maximum height? So in other words, what's this distance right here? Okay, but that's the same as finding this uh, Y coordinate of the vertex because the Y coordinate is the max. All right, so let me switch to a different color here. So how do I find that now? Well, I know that uh, if this is 46 yards, and for this formula, which is intercept form, to find the x-coordinate of the vertex or the axis of symmetry, which is this line right here, okay, we have a formula, and that formula is x equals p plus q over 2. At least I can find the x-coordinate. But now, I mean, you can really see it, right? If this is 0, and this is 46, halfway between them must be 23. You can also do it by actually using the formula. 0 plus 46 
over 2, that's 46 over 2, and that's 23. Okay? So if you really want to use a formula, you can. That's not the question, though. We want to find the y-coordinate. The y-coordinate of the vertex is the maximum value. So y is equal to, and take 23 and plug it into the function. So here's the function again. Okay, uh, write it down. And plug in 23. So I'm going to substitute 23 in here and 23 in there. All right, so if you do that, you get y equals negative 0 0.026 times 23 times 23 minus 46. And I wouldn't worry about trying to do this by hand. This is an applied problem after all with decimals and strange numbers. So just put that in your calculator and crank it out. And what you get is about 13.754 yards okay so that means this maximum height right here is about 13.754 yards well, that answers question uh, 6b <clears throat> all right so let's move on talk about uh, the next example so this is really review i'm not going to spend much time going over this foil means multiply F stands for first by first, O stands for outer by outer, I stands for inner by inner, L stands for last by last. All right, but this is not new news to you, the new information, you know this stuff. So I'm just going to go and crack through this and make sure that you are actually able to, to generate the correct answer. Um, big picture here is what are we trying to do? Rewrite the function in standard form. So standard form was this. Okay, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And uh, you need to know what form you're looking at. This is, again, intercept form. Uh, both of these. And this is vertex form. Again, why am I wasting my time doing this stuff? This is not a waste of time. This is actually useful because if you're problem solving, you generate functions like this, weird things. Actually, they're very ugly usually. Um, being able to change what it looks like from one form to another helps us identify things quickly. So we're doing the easy way around today, which is saying go from intercept form to standard form or from vertex form to standard form. That's actually easy. The other way around is a bit harder. Um, and that is go from standard form to intercept form, standard form, to vertex form. But you need to be familiar with all of that because if you're really problem solving, if you're a real mathematician, that's a good skill you need to know. Okay, Change the form of, a, of an equation and then solve problems in it. Uh, so let's do this. Y equals, and just let's apply FOIL. Okay, So x times x is x squared x times 7 plus 7x, negative 2 times x minus 2x, and then negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. So here's what we get. The negative stays outside, so we can do all the other simplification work we need to do. 7x and 2 minus 2x is plus 5x minus 14. And then we go and distribute uh, the negative into the parenthesis. So I get negative x squared minus 5x plus 14. That's the solution, okay? That's the answer. And notice that that looks exactly like this form, okay? ax squared plus bx plus c. All right, that's one. And then the other one would be changing vertex form. Uh, I'm not going to do this one as well. I think you can handle that. I'll tell you the answer here if you wanted to see it. Of course, it's also uploaded uh, to Schoology, but... There's a solution, sorry, that's a 4D, not 46. And so let me do letter C with you. This looks tricky, but it's not really that tricky. What you're doing is saying Y equals negative 3. Now, I have X plus 5 squared. Please do not do the following. Here's the common mistake. 
Oh, I square the x and I square the 5. Yay, minus 1. Nope. That, in fact, is incorrect. Okay. Don't do that. That's a very common mistake. So what you do is, uh, most students like to do it this way. You write it out twice. x plus 5 times x plus 5. We will change this later. You need to be actually better than that in Algebra 2. But we'll, we can go with this for now. So if you write it twice, because square means something multiplied by itself. So something multiplied by itself. And now we can uh, FOIL. I'm going to FOIL faster this time x squared and then do 5x plus 5x is plus 10x and then do 5 times 5 that's plus 25 minus 1 okay and so then you can distribute the negative 3 and I'm going to do this a bit quicker too because I think you are definitely capable of handling that negative 3 times 25 is negative 75 minus another one is negative 76 Okay, so the solution to this one, changing from one form to another, is that. And this one, if you do this one on your own, which I think you're capable of, you get y equals 2x squared minus 12x plus 27. Okay, and I will do these other two examples for you in another video.